coming. And then we know season two ended with a cliffhanger. We know season three, they're going to be venturing out in Atlanta and trying to expand their territory to the south. Um, how does your character kind of come and evolve and grow? And could you tell us a little bit about your role in this upcoming season? Yeah, she's a very passionate woman that's really coming in to stake her claim. A lot of people don't feel like she should be there, so she's got to prove herself a lot. And, um, and she's excited to be able to do that, really trying to get this crime off of the street and change Detroit for the better, you know? So, and there's a lot of things that go down with our trying to do that. So yeah, it's gonna be exciting to see. Uh, I think just whatever is happening with this love tri triangle between me, Meech, and LaWanda and like how that's gonna end up and it starts off with me being in the hospital. The last season ended very crazy. So it's just like a roller coaster ride and everyone's like, why is she dealing with this young boy? Why is she a part of all this craziness? So you get to see like all of that play out. In my personal life, I deal with a lot. So I was able to channel that and uh, and go in that. But it is a lot, I'm not gonna lie, it's a lot. And it's good that I actually have the real Terry, shout out to Southwest T, to talk to. So uh, so he helps me, you know, about his thought process around the time that, you know, we're portraying and things like that. But 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 it's tough, it's difficult sometimes leaving set. It's hard to shake it off me. He doesn't have a crew with him anymore. He doesn't have his brothers with him. So he has to use different tactics. And Meech actually makes grown man decisions at a very young age. He discovers that Atlanta is the hub of the United States with all the freeways leading to all different parts of the country. So it's better for business. So I play Henrietta, also known as Henry. Uh, she is going to be the villain of the season. Uh, and uh, she is coming in hot with a whole new way of moving and working things. Especially as a trans actor, it's very important for me to be able to tell the stories. Especially uh, when it comes to characters who are differing in gender and sexuality in the world where it's really a boys game. Blaze was formerly a, de a detective working in narcotics. Now, I'm just gonna leave that right there because to know that background and then where Blaze is now. Like anybody who's seen the show knows a lot has happened with Kevin. And I think he started off with, as just like this nerdy little character. And the more his dad said to him, the more and more he was like, Maybe it's time to stand up for myself, and it didn't end well for him. So I feel like he's just, it's really complex in that. Like, he just, he's always going to his dad for help, but then the one time he did something without his dad's help, it ended bad for him. I think that does a lot to somebody's mind, especially with that young age. I'm just excited for my character's growth. It's like, from season one, people don't realize, but we were kids. It's like, we're 16 years old, you know? So, um, this season, it's like, she's growing, and she's elevating, and she, I think she's going to get it a little bit. She's, she's starting to understand what's, What's going on? For me, this uh, season three is all about girl power. You know, uh, I'm teamed up now with a female partner, uh, Detective Colby Bryant. And uh, also there's a, a new character, uh, Ren King brings to the show. Uh, so yeah, there's, there's gonna be some, definitely some girl power on this.